Just got your Rust server and now you want to set it up. I'm Owen from Jogbyte and I'm going to be showing you everything you need to know to get started with your new Rust server. Before joining your server, you'll probably want to change some settings. First, head to the server control panel homepage. From here, stop the server and on the left, head to files, config files, and either the Rust server settings or server.cfg to change a bunch of settings for your server. In the Rust server settings, you can change your server name to make it more identifiable, as well as game mode, seed, and more. Making sure to click save at the bottom of the page after making any changes. From the server.cfg file, you can change other settings such as the server.url, server.description, and server.header image. Just make sure to write everything you want to change within the two quotation marks. If you want to add a new line to the description, simply add a backslash n and continue your writing description. To get a header image for your Rust server, it requires the header image to be provided via a URL. The recommended way to do this is to upload your server's header image to Imgur, Ensure that your header image matches the proper dimensions, 512 by 256 pixels. Once you have uploaded your desired header image to a hosting service such as Imgur, once uploaded, right click the image and select copy image address to get the URL you'll need to add in the config file. Once you've finished editing the service.cfg files, click save. Then to implement the changes, head to your server console and enter the command server.readcfg. Once you've finished customizing your server, you'll want to join it. First, if your server isn't already, go ahead and start it from the control panel. There are a few different methods of connecting to your Rust server, but before we get to them, you'll first need to know your server IP. You can find this on the server control panel homepage under the server address field. The first part of the number before the colon is the IP, and the second part after the colon is the port. Now that you have your server address, the first way to connect is with the client console. The in-game Rust client console allows you to directly connect to a server with a command which requires your server IP and port. Press the F1 key to open the game console. Make sure that the console is selected in the top left of your screen and then type the command client.connect then the IP colon port and press enter. One of the other methods of connecting to your server is via the Rust server list. Rust has recently updated its networking requirements, meaning that your server requires a dedicated IP in order to appear on the server list. You can connect directly, but if you wish to appear in the server list, come chat with us or open a support ticket so that we can assist. After launching Rust, click on play game. From here, you'll be able to connect to any Rust server. In order to connect to your server, you'll need to select from one of four tabs. Community, for vanilla Rust servers, search by your server's name, modded, for oxide, carbon, or other modded servers. As before, just search by your server's name, favorited, any servers you have favorited or added to Steam's server viewer will be here, and history is any servers that you have joined before. Once you've found your server, click on it and open the connection window, and click join server. You've now successfully set up and joined your Rust server. There are a bunch of other ways you can customize your server though, like adding a whitelist and mods. We'll have some useful guides linked down in the description. And make sure to subscribe for more Rust and other game server tutorials from Shopbyte like this one.